Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Lacey. If you're new here, if you're not, then welcome back. What do y'all do? Before I start cleaning this trailer, I figured I'd come out here and sit down and um, just talk to y'all because I haven't posted a video in a while. Like, you know, I haven't been consistent, even though I just posted like a grocery haul thing and like meal plan for the week the other day. I haven't posted like, you know, consistently in a long time. And, um, Am I consistent? Uh, Lord willing, I hope so. I plan on posting two videos a week from now on. So. Um, I am sick as a dog today. Like, I'm already sweating out here, and I think it's because my fever's breaking. But, um, there's a nap. Yes, ma'am. I'm really tired, so, um, this video might take a couple days. So, if you see me wear different clothes, my hair goes up on top of my head, y'all just know I don't feel good. I don't. But, yeah, so, um, what was I talking about? See, I didn't want to take my ADHD medicine and look. What in the world? I need to cool down and make sure that my fever broke and um, just kind of make sure that I'm actually well enough to clean right now and that I don't need to rest all over again. Oh, y'all, this ended up taking me two and a half days just to clean the kitchen two of the days was just me cleaning the countertops i'm not kidding like just what you see right there just the dishes and the countertop this was a whole like two day clean my countertops with me in the beginning i intended to clean the whole entire trailer but all i did get done was the kitchen whatever flu we had oh it knocked me down so bad first it hit my husband and then my daughter and then me and i'm still having the lingering effects of it um, the body aches were probably the worst part of it and the fever oh the fever was so bad I was just like pouring sweat from out of nowhere every time it broke and just when I thought it was over it would come back again but anyways let's go ahead and get into the video part of everything where I'm just cleaning up the kitchen putting all the dishes away that were in the dishwasher and y'all can see I have a entire sink full of dishes over the past couple of days I have not felt like cleaning the dishes. I mean, I really am war slapped out. That's one thing I usually don't do is go to bed with dirty dishes, but I did not have it in me. So they piled up quick, especially with us only having one sink now, like one sink hole thing. Um, you know, we used to have two sink holes. I don't really know what to call those. What you waiting for, babe? Either tell me now or just walk out the door. Stop it with the games. I don't want to play them anymore. I'm tired of being the one you call to a late night filled with alcohol. Just let me know what's going on in your mind. Cause you're giving me mixed. Baby, I'm confused by your disposition next Signals, baby, I'm scared to ask if your attention next I don't understand why You feel you need to hide your feelings all the time Get up off your heart I don't think I could have fit one more dish inside that dishwasher. What do y'all think? I'm tired of being the one you call to a late night filled with alcohol. Just let me know what's going on in your mind. Cause you're giving me mixed signals, baby. I'm confused by your disposition next. Signals, baby. I'm Oh, yeah, I wanted to tell y'all, Bubba finally got a chance to paint the kitchen walls again and just finally finish up all of the kitchen redoing. Oh, and the ceiling. Yes, he said the ceiling. Um, I don't know if y'all be able to tell in this video, but we actually painted a wee. I say wee like I did something. Bubba painted the ceilings from like one end of the trailer to the next. So 
if you can't see it in this video, I do plan on um, showing y'all that here in the next video or something here soon. So, yeah. We've done a lot here lately, and I can't wait to show y'all. But, yeah, the kitchen's finally pretty much done. Y'all, last night after I wiped down the stove, I ended up getting too sick, and I couldn't finish. So, today it is uh, the next day, and it's like six-something. So, I'm going to um, start cleaning up. I finally feel good enough to, like, do what I need to do. Um kind of all day long i was planning on you know getting up and cleaning but i just could not because i did not feel good um i'm finally feeling good my fever like broke for good i haven't had one in just a couple hours and that's like without medicine so i think i'm good to go so yeah we're gonna start cleaning up and we're just gonna take it slow but i really think that i'm gonna be able to like actually do it now so Let's go ahead and go again, get restarted. All right, for my countertops, y'all, this might be a little bit repetitive if you aren't new here, but I'm using my Murphy's Oil Soap. Um, this is the only thing I use on my countertops. I just use a damp rag. It was actually already damp because um, I took this bad boy right out of the washing machine, um, but I ended up did having to wet it a little bit more because it wasn't wet enough. But yeah, I don't like to get it too wet because I'm afraid it's going to like mess up the countertop. I still don't 1,000 million percent know how do you take care of butcher block. So we haven't had butcher block very long at all. So yeah, that's all I use is just the Murphy's Oil Soap. I love the way the butcher block looks whenever it's all clean and shiny. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. All right, now I'm going to hand wash this little bit of dishes that's in here because I don't want to have to um, just start a little load of dishes in the dishwasher just for this little bit and i don't like leaving dirty dishes in the dishwasher either if that makes sense at least not for long periods of time now if i know that i'm going to be filling it back up within like an hour or so maybe but i was pretty much done with dishes for the night and i did not want to leave these dishes in the sink or in the dishwasher overnight and i will say something that drives me a little bit crazy is not being able to fill up the sink with water like hot water and um, wash my dishes like that way if i hand wash them so i don't really feel like they get clean enough i have to like soak my dishes and stuff that's what i've always done my mama did it that way or does it that way still um my nani did it that way like everybody in my family did and they just weren't clean if you just washed them you know like that in the sink and i'm not saying nobody's dishes aren't clean if y'all do it that way that's just you know what what we do um you know what's good for the goose is good for the gander y'all know but yeah so that's just how i feel but um so it, it's bothering me like this bothered me i end up having to put some a little bit of bleach on the rag and go back and rewash the ones that i had already just washed and re-rinse them off and everything like i just didn't feel like they were clean enough because they didn't soak in the water and i don't know it's just a mess not being able to have like two sinks i don't know i miss it i miss having two sink holes coffee pot. I wonder if I can buy another <laughs> one. Well, this ain't good. Yeah, that's bad. Man. 
we can buy a new one out in Walmart. Yeah, but that one was expensive. Mm. Can we save expensive stuff with the expensive? Oh. Mm. Wonder if I can buy this separate. Man. Can't have nothing, no. Man, that makes me mad. I didn't barely, barely set it down. Doggone thing. All right. Must be you were good for a while, weren't we? Tell me I'm not losing it. I've already lost you. So this sink, it gets stained up real bad. Um, I guess it's because of it being white. And I don't really know what kind of material it's made out of, but I know it's not porcelain or anything like that. It's, um, it's something cheaper than that. Like maybe it feels plastic. I don't know. But anyways, it gets stained up real bad. And whatever you pour in it, whether it be tea, Coke, uh, food, noodles, whatever, it's going to stain it. So... What I've been doing is just pouring some hot water in there with a stopper and then bleach and letting that sit in the bottom of it. And it's been actually getting them out and, you know, taking away a lot of the elbow grease I'm having to do with the scrubbing and all that good stuff. And you can see it gets it pretty uh, back white again. So, yeah, that's pretty good because I was, I was uh, having me a hard time there for a little while trying to scrub that thing out. And do not mind the cast iron skillets there. My plan is to film another video that'll be dedicated just to cleaning my cast iron skillets because a lot of times what I do is just kind of include it in a cleaning video and I always get a lot of questions in the comments about why I do this or why I do that and can I explain more on this and that. Also, y'all, my cabinet, God bless America. Do y'all see it dangling the door? I mean, I bet y'all thought I just wasn't going to mention that. So, let me tell y'all what happened. So, first of all, good news. We got magnets for all the doors on the cabinets to where they don't, you know, just randomly pop open and everything now. So, I get the magnets, right? And the next day, that one there comes off the hinge. Like, the hinge just completely broke. Like, the metal part. You can't even fix it. Like, and it's just dangling there. So, yeah, it's only been like that for like a day now. And hopefully, or two days. Uh, it happened right before I started this video. So, yeah, we're going to have to fix that. I mean, I get magnets and then that's what happens. I just wanted to show y'all which kind of little wax warmer I had in there. It's called Sweet Grace. I think I got it from Ace Hardware. It smells so good. I'm not really big on the wax warmers and the smell good stuff. I always forget to put them in, but that one smells really good. All right, I'm cleaning off the table, our catch-all. I don't even know why I'm cleaning it off. There's probably a million things on there again already, but hey, I like to do crazy wild things every once in a while. Here in the city lights, a wish on a satellite and passes over my head. I watch it all fade to white. I knew when you took my hand, there's no escaping. Y'all, I promise I'm not a loony goon. I know that I'm sweeping my rug. So, what's going on is that my daughter is already asleep, and I was not about to pull out that vacuum and wake her up like i said we've all been battling the flu over here and she needed to sleep she was already having a hard time staying asleep with her coughing and everything so i needed to just sweep the rug the best i could get all the extra dirt off of it and everything that i could and i personally think that sweeping it worked better than the vacuum but that's just me um anyways and i vacuumed it this morning and got that over with um when everybody was awake so I just wanted to explain what I'm doing there because uh, I feel like that needed a little bit of explanation. Feel myself giving in. I can't win, so I forfeit. Can you feel the pull? Gravitational, no running. Moth to the flame. Inescapable, you're right. 
y'all like i said i planned for this to be a whole entire like whole trailer clean with me and all y'all got for me was the kitchen but hey i got more coming i promise i'm back but anyways i hope y'all enjoyed it and i hope it gave y'all some motivation toodaloo <laughs>